big. And so if you don't have a good story, and you don't have a compelling story, uh, you're not going to grab someone's attention. Someone in the last session said you have eight seconds, essentially, to grab someone's attention right off the bat. And if you don't do it, you fail. And so there's lots of noise out there. So there's, there's all kinds of social media. It's not only blog posts and podcasts and mainstream um, stories and video. I mean, there's Twitter and there's Facebook and there's LinkedIn um, and there's Ning and there's Flickr and all those other things that are trying to grab your attention. Again, um, it just lends itself to the fact that uh, people don't have time. Um, and if you don't grab them right out of the bat, um, you're in trouble. The other thing too, and this uh, relates to a lot of people in the public relations and, and marketing uh, world, um, that we all think because there's um, more bloggers out there that it should be easy to actually grab their attention because the audience is so big. It's like a 500 million new person universe. And the reality is, is that the blogosphere is very fragmented right now. And it's really hard to get someone to pay attention to your story because they're being pitched by dozens if not hundreds of people. Uh, think about some of the big sites like Ego Home and Read White Web and TechCrunch um, and Mashable. I mean, can you imagine the number of pitches um, that they're getting these days? Uh, if Matthew Ingram, who recently joined um, Giga Home from the Global Mail, was here today, uh, I'm sure he'd be swamped by people. Um, he'd be more popular than perhaps a VC. Uh, and so the blogosphere is just like the mainstream media. Even though there's a lot more of them, um, it's really hard to get their attention because they've got other things going on too. And finally, and this is the most troubling one uh, for someone like me who comes from a traditional media background, is that there are fewer traditional media sources around. It used to be in Canada, you had all kinds of reporters that you'd go to with a good story pitch. Um, and for the PR people in the room, um, you had trade mags, you had the dailies, you had the magazines, uh, you had the trade press. Um, and somewhere along the line, you could get a story placed. Uh, these days, there's few and far between. I mean, most of the major newspapers barely have any tech comforts these days. Um, so trying to get them to pay attention to you is really hard because they're, again, they're getting, again, swamped by people. But the reality is I think we can all be great storytellers. Um, if we pay attention to some of the key fundamentals, which I'll touch upon today, um, there's no reason uh, that we can't you know, uh, be storytellers like uh, Stuart McLean from the CBC. If anybody's listened to Stuart McLean, he's mm -hmm. the master storyteller out there. Um, you've got uh, <laughs> Mr. Rogers, who's, uh, again, you know, I mean, if you're in that uh, demographic uh, category and you've, or you've got kids, I mean, He's a great storyteller. Um, mm -hmm. The Friendly Giant, a personal favorite. Uh, <laughs> big fan of Jerome back in the day. Uh, and he's a great storyteller. And then, and then the master storyteller, uh, the best one of all, is, um, is Steve Jobs. I just want to play a little bit of... Um, Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes the world. And Apple Jobs is how he's leading into it, right? Well, first of all, he sets you up. He's telling a really good story without actually blaring it right from the start. Apple's been very fortunate. It's been able to introduce a few of these in the world. In 1984, we introduced the Macintosh. It didn't just change Apple. It changed the whole computer industry. Yes. In 2001, we introduced the first iPod. And so like a good storyteller, he's pulling you in, right? You don't know what he's going to say right now. He's just introducing the iPhone the we all and setting you up. Right? It changed the entire music industry. Today, we're introducing three revolutionary products. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls. The second is a revolutionary mobile <laughs> 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 
the third is a breakthrough internet communication Three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communication device. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod, a phone. <laughs> These are not three separate devices. This is one device. <laughs> and we are calling it iPhone. Today, 